Hey, what's up guys? Today we're gonna be doing an installation of some arrow catch hood pins on my 2010 Camaro. This is Jane. Jane is pushing about 600 horsepower now, naturally aspirated, and I do have future intentions of putting a supercharger on. But I figured before we get all that power, we need to make sure she can actually go that fast. And my hood is, is a cowl induction hood. It's a sinister ram air hood. So it's fiberglass, it's pouring all kinds of air over the intake, and I'm just starting to notice a little too much flutter, and the last thing I want is for that hood to fly up. So installing some hood pins is the right way to go. So guys, this is my buddy Mario. He's in my Camaro Club with me, Mid Florida Camaro Club. So right now we got all of our tools laid out, pretty much everything we need. Obviously we got the arrow catch hood pins right here, and then we have a rubber mallet to hit them down. Get a Dremel tool kit right here with all the Dremel bits we need. And then obviously, you know, we need a drill. We need some drill bits. And then some random stuff like toothpaste. You'll see where that's coming in later. And then some vacuum line as well, which again, you'll see where that comes in later too. Are you ready? Ready, let's do it. The first thing you have to determine when installing anything, obviously, is where it's going to go. So we've been messing around with the placement of the hood pins and we've come to the conclusion that we can place the pins about here and we can take advantage of these riveted holes here so we can line it up exactly in the in the right spot on both sides of the car. Because the problem is you don't want to bring down the hood and then have the hood pin too close to the bumper. It's not going to look good aesthetically. So if we bring it down, it's going to line up about here, which gives us enough clearance there to not make it look like it's too tight. So we ended up working all the way up to a 3 8 drill bit. You guys can see it's pretty much the same size. So now what we're going to do, because it just it's just barely bigger than the hole, just a tiny, tiny bit. So now we're going to go inside there and kind of just work the hole very carefully and going around like this. So Mario's screwing the pin in right now. We ended up having to work it for a little while with the 3 8 drill bit, but a little bit at a time, make the hole just big enough. And as you guys can see, we got a nut on the bottom and on the top so we can figure out the placement of how this pin is going to strike when it reaches the hood. And that, my friends, is what the toothpaste is for. So what we're going to do is we're going to dab a little bit of toothpaste on top of here. Nice. Hey, man, I got to brush my teeth later. Use all my toothpaste. All right, let's pull the hood down. Go down nice and slow. And now we'll be able to see exactly where it's going to hit. Boom. All right, let's lift it back up. And that, my friends, is where we need to make the hole. Now that we're ready to do our drill in the actual hood, what's important is you have to note at the angle that the striker is going up or the actual pin itself because you need to drill in that direction. As you guys can see, it's not totally straight. It's slightly leaning to the left. So when you take your drill, you need to not go straight up like this. You need to go at a slight angle up. I knew I was going to find another use for these moving blankets. The wife said, just throw them away. We'll never use them. It's really important, guys. Obviously, you don't want to damage anything on your engine or scratch anything up. So always take precautions to cover when you can. All right, we're through the bottom. Now we gotta go through the top. It's gonna help me just eyeball where the pin's coming out. So at least now I have some reference point. <clears throat> oh, right in the middle! Right in the middle of my tape! <laughs> that was cool. Now that we have a pretty good idea of where the hole is and where we have to do drilling and cutting, we're going to start taping the hood to protect the paint and also it's going to allow us to draw on the tape once we get our stencil down too. We took a quick break to get some food but we also realized that I forgot to get a step bit so we're going to go and have a freight real quick and grab one. So here it is guys. This is actually a nice kit. We have a few different ones to work with. What this is going to allow us to do is as we drill into the hood, we can just go in steps instead of having to change the drill bit every single time. Where where are we at, Scott? Panda! Nice, do, up, nice to meet you. How you can, doing? We can have a meetup at Panda Express. Get your Panda on? Yeah, it's a, it's a 
sir. What's your name? Ify. Ify. Pleasure to meet you. I can. I can? Nice yes. to meet you. Later. Just a tiny bit off, but that's okay because we have a lot of room to work with inside. All right, so check it out. We have penetration. And now the next step is to figure out exactly where the pin's going to go and line up with the hole on the strike pin and then trace and cut. So I had to make a template here. I just wanna show you guys how I how we made this. So what we did was we took the top piece and we put it on the paper and then I put a hole in the middle of where the strike pin goes through. And then I traced the top right there cause it's a rounded edge. And then I traced the bottom. And then once I finished doing all of that, I had a hole in the middle. I had the top traced and the bottom traced. Then we placed this here and then we traced the inside. And then once we had the inside trace, we removed it, and then we found the measurements for here to create the cross. And all you gotta do is just put the top piece back on and then make a hole on the outside right there, make a line on the top where it comes out, do the same on the bottom. And then once you have your four points, then you can take a ruler and make the lines. And then now I'm gonna cut out the middle and it's gonna leave me with these lines as a reference point to make this the center. This is the finished stencil right here. And what we wanna do now is line it up with the strike point, which is in the middle of here. But now because we cut this out, we can also measure this angle from the top here and the top here to make sure it's the same. So we're gonna use this tape and then measure it out and then mark it and then we can finally take care of getting to the cutting pot. Now for the actual line, we're gonna do it with a shappy because it's gonna give us a thicker line because you don't wanna go right to the edge. You wanna start on the inside and work your way out as you do your cutting. So that's why we're gonna use a shappy for this instead of the pen because we have that nice thick line. It gives us plenty of wiggle room to work with because you can't put back what you cut off. badge of honor right there. All right, now for the smoothening. So as you can see, I only got as far as here. I'm gonna try to work it a bit more with the Dremel, but then I'm gonna get the stone, the stone tool and make it nice and smooth and then try to get a test fit. We got the back part in, and now what I have to do is slowly cut back on the sides and the top and bottom, and we're gonna work it in and then do the front last. Because the front is pretty much lined up too. It's just if I run my finger right here, I can feel it bumps out a little there and the same thing here. So I'm just gonna work the edge on both and then we're gonna keep fitting it until it fits perfect. hood pin in what we're gonna do is we're gonna start making the holes for the screws and then drill them 
and then secure the pin. So we're gonna attach this a little different than you might have seen in other videos. We already have this big hole here, and because the bottom part of the hood is so close to the top, first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna press all the nuts in the back. Just get a pair of pliers and you can just push them right in. And then what I'm gonna do is, I'm actually gonna slide it in through the top and then get it pretty much in position and then once I put the top clip on, I'm then going to try to get my finger in here and use a tool to push it up. And then that way I only have to make one small hole in the bottom. So check this out. The idea worked. I found two longer screws because the piece itself was still sitting on the bottom. So I screwed one, I pushed this screw all the way in, grabbed it, pushed that one in and grabbed it. And then I just pulled it up like this. And now I can take these screws out. Not yet, not yet. And we're good to go. Here we go, the moment of truth. <laughs> Didn't even look. See that? <laughs> <laughs> Boom. One done. On a scale of You know one what? To I think I'm just gonna start a new trend of the one hood pin crew. So we're good, we're done, video's over. <laughs> <laughs> On a scale of one to 10, how difficult was this process? I'd put it at like a six. Okay. Just because it's not hard to cut and it's mm. not hard to, um, to like put the screws in. The hardest part is just paying attention to the angles and then just taking your time lining it up. Mm. But now we have to do the same thing on the other side. So let's get to it. What would you say to somebody who doesn't have a Mario with you, with them? Find a Mario, go find a Mario. <laughs> <laughs> All right guys, so we're getting started on the other side. We already got the piece through. Now I need to make a stencil. We're gonna do a lot of measuring, but a stencil will help us get in the ballpark a lot faster. So what I did was, I took the bottom piece and I traced. And now I'm gonna cut this and then basically bump it up to here and I'm gonna follow my hood line so then I can take it and flip it over and try to get a pretty much rough estimate of where I need to go over here. Now what I'm gonna do, now that I have this here, I'm gonna raise the hood and I'm gonna draw a line and then cut the line. Yeah, your line was good. Yeah, I like escapade. Ooh, I just caught that on camera too. I don't care. I'll put it on right now. Oh yeah? I'll do it. Put it on right now. I try I was gonna sing the words, but I forgot them. <laughs> <laughs> I was about to like I was like, ah, oh, I forgot too. how the chorus went. <laughs> I only know when the song comes on. <laughs> Not a true fan. Escapade, baby, yeah. We got this exactly where we want it. We were able to measure on the other side from here to the body line. Um, we eyeballed it from really far away. And then even with the cardboard cut out here, it seems to be exactly where it would be on the other side. So, I mean, we're, we're right there, guys. We measured from here down. It's the same exact as it was over there. Check it out, number two is in. Now what we gotta do is just line up the strike pin, put it through, get the same holes in and we're good. You see, when you, when you start the first one, you're just like, oh man, we got so much to do. And then by the time you get to the end of the second one, you're just like, oh sweet, I'm the man. 
Gonna show you guys what we did last time. So we already have the bottom piece in. So now I'm gonna use this screw. I'm gonna get down there, screw it in, and then get the other side. Make sure I hit it. Screw it in. Now both are screwed in and we can pull it up. And then now we can tighten the top. Oh yeah, we're almost done here. Gym guy figured that out. I do I do fitness videos. Oh, fitness on YouTube. All right guys, check it out. Mario's gonna drop that hood. Damn! Sits flush! Wow, that looks awesome! And there you have it guys, full arrow catch custom install on a 2010 Camaro from a kid that makes fitness videos. Awesome guys, great job. The camera guy helped a little bit. <laughs> hey, guys, without me, this wouldn't fucking be Yeah, yeah here, without so. him, you guys wouldn't have the video. Yep. <laughs> so listen, if you want to check out Arrow Catch or if you have any questions, you know, by all means, comment below. I'm going to post a link to Arrow Catch if you guys want to check out the hood pins. Um, they have a bunch of different kinds that you can use, not just the ones that I have here, but the main reason why I went with these is because I was really excited that they actually lock. They make the same ones without the lock, but... I like I like to keep things locked. That's just how I am. So that's it. It looks good. They're perfectly straight. They're perfectly centered. And now we can add more power. More power. Go faster. No hood in my face. Yeah. All right guys, so there's one final thing I wanted to do to really make this install look super nice is I wanted to make these holes look exactly the same on both sides. So I'll put my hand over here so you can see. The hole right there, that's where the pin goes through. So as you can see, I've already put a vacuum line around the hole um, just to kind of make the edge not look so rough. So I want to do the same thing over here, but it's also going to be super important that the holes are the exact same size. So what I actually did was I took a piece of paper and I used this groove right here to stick the paper in and then fold it over and then I traced the hole. And then what I did was I flipped the piece of paper and again I put the, I put the tip in this groove and then I measured it out and as you guys can see this is what I have to cut. But once I cut this little section here it's going to be good to go. I can put my vacuum tube in and we're done. All right guys, here's the final look under the hood. And as you can see, both holes look really good with the rubber inserts. One on one side, one on the other side right there. And as, as I go back and get to the middle, you guys can see that they're perfectly symmetrical. And that's what you're going for. Now obviously, whenever you do any install, no matter what you're doing, you want it to be perfect. But man, I'm especially happy with how the bottom came out here. And then let's close out this video with one final hood closing and take a look at the finished product now that it's bright outside. Boom. Thanks again to Arrowcatch for making this possible. And if this install video helped you, let me know by smashing that like button, leaving a comment below. And guys, like I said in the beginning of the video, if you want to check out these Arrowcatch hood pins, I will post the link below. Good luck with your future installs, guys. You can do it.